Hey folks, Doc Hansen here with another Good Time Guitar. I've got uh, another one of my favorite uh, guilds here. This is just an absolutely beautiful guitar. Uh, this is a 1999 uh, Guild DV52 NT-HG. Um, HG being the high gloss version. So, um, those of you that are familiar with Guilds, you may know about this model. Um, if you're not familiar, let me tell you a little bit about this. So this is really based on the D50, um, which Guild has been making for a long time. And the D50 uh, really is a comparable model to a Martin D28. So <clears throat> what that means is it has a solid Sitka spruce top, has solid Indian rosewood back and sides, uh, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard, ebony bridge. Now, <clears throat> that's the standard D50. Now the D52, which they made for a few years in the late 90s, um, added on this a bit in a couple of ways. First of all, this has scallop bracing uh, on the top. So uh, the scallop bracing is gonna give you a lighter, more responsive top. It's gonna bring a little bit more sound out, a little bit more on the highs, a little more bassy. Uh, just has this has, just has great uh, great tone to it. Also has an upgraded abalone uh, ring around the sound hole uh, in the rosette here. Um, abalone fret markers. Um, just a beautiful beautiful um, guild guitar made in their Westerly Rhode Island uh, factory. Uh, so. Um, for those of you that are looking for a large body dreadnought size spruce rosewood uh, guitar and maybe you don't want to shell out the kind of money for a nice uh, Martin D28 or maybe you don't really care for Martin D28 and you want something the Guild makes, well this is a great, great guitar. Um, I now, honestly I've never owned a D28, I've got a D35. Uh, which is a very nice guitar. I play D28s, they're beautiful guitars. Um, but as you know, I like Guilds more than Martins, so I, I think this is actually uh, a step above from a, a D28. Um, this guitar is in great shape. Um, I, I, you know, really nothing structurally wrong. Now it's been played. Uh, there's some pick scratches here on the, you know, on the, the pick guard and on the body. Um, there, but uh, oh, and the gold is worn off the uh, Grover tuners uh, on the knobs there, very common. I mean, you hardly ever see one of this vintage that uh, has those still intact if it's been played. Other than that, though, it is just in great shape. A uh, very minor sort of finish checking down here. Another very common thing with these guitars, but I, I would rate this in very good to excellent. Uh, shape. Um, comes with the original Guild case, uh, which is in great shape. Uh, original hang tag, the original Guild warranty card. Um, so you're getting a very uh, <coughs> put together uh, 1999 Guild here. Great tone. really rings uh, all throughout the uh, bass up into the highs. Uh, you know, Guild has a just great sort of balance tone and lots of projection. Um, just a wonderful, wonderful guitar. Now, um, I did adjust the action on this, um, and since I'm almost exclusively a finger picker, I like a little lower action. Um, so I did take the, the uh, saddle down a bit. Um, so we're a little bit under 330 seconds here at the 12th fret. Um, on this guitar. And if you want to raise it up, you can certainly put a, you know, a, a shim here or, or put in a new bridge. But uh, right now, it just, the action is, plays like butter. And, and there's no buzz or anything on strumming. So even if you're a flat picker and you want to bang on this thing, you shouldn't have any problem at all uh, with this. So again, 1999 Guild DV52. Um, high gloss model. Check it out.
Lovely guitar. Thanks.